This is a YouTube subscriber counter. It has a gold color 3D printed case and it works with a Wi-Fi connection so don't worry about internet cables. It's quite small and fits perfectly on any desktop next to your PC. It will automatically refresh the subscriber value and it could also have sound notification for that if you want. So let's see how to build it. What's up my friends, welcome back! For this project you will need a 3D printed case, for which by the way you could download the STL files from a link below. A 7 segment display module for just a few dollars and a Wi-Fi module. You could use directly the ASP8266 Wi-Fi module on your own PCB or you could directly buy this kind of board that already has everything on it. This is the Wemos D1 development board that includes the ASP8266 module, a micro USB connector, reset button and voltage regulator. So this is perfect for our project. You will also need a toggle switch like this one, an active buzzer and a micro USB cable. So let's begin. You could also make this project with an OLED or LCD display. But I think the 7 segment display gives this project a nicer and maybe a more vintage look. The module used the Max 72 19 Matrix driver that we've talked about in the huge LED Matrix tutorial. Check that video if you want to know more about this module. The thing is that we could send serial data to this module using just 3 pins. Those pins are clock, chip select or load and data. I'll show you an example of that right now. I'll connect the module to the Arduino Uno for this test. Data it's pin 2, chip select it's 3 and clock will be 4. All we need to do now is to shift some registers containing our data. For that let's open this example that you could also download from a link below. The shift function will first activate the chip select pin which is activated by a low value. Next it will create the serial data on the data input pin by shifting the value that we want. In this case it will first be the address of the corresponding register for the 7 segment module. This process is followed by the same thing but with the sent data. Finally I set the chip select to high and the transmission it's done. Ok so in the setup void we define those pins as output and send the configuration data. As you can see I send the address of the register and the value using the shift function. If we check the datasheet of this chip we can see the address for the intensity, mode and shutdown. We send the corresponding value to make the display show the numbers from right to left. Next in the infinite loop we just send the data for each 7 segment display. In this case I've sent the message hello. Quite easy right? Ok so now we know how to print numbers on this module. Let's see how to obtain the YouTube subscriber value. For that we first have to deal with the Wemos board. This is not just a Wi-Fi module. It's a complete processor with 4 megabytes flash memory and 64 RAM. So that's quite amazing and all for this very low price. It comes in all different types of shapes and different modules and a bunch of shields for it. We've got the Pro, Mini and Lite. The one that I have is the Mini. So how do we program it? Well, what you have to do is to go to GitHub or use the link below to download the Arduino core for the ASP8266 Wi-Fi chip. The people who write this code are amazing so thank you for that. What this core will do is able us to program the ASP8266 using the Arduino platform. Before you try installing this with the downloaded zip, open first the Arduino IDE. Then go to File, Preferences and here paste this link. 
This link will enable the Arduino board manager to search for other downloads URLs. Now press OK and go to Tools, Board and Board Manager. Now that we have the URL added into Arduino preferences, the ASP8266 installing file will appear here. Select it and press install. Once you installed, you should probably restart Arduino IDE. Now if I go to boards, you can see that I have a lot of extra boards added. We will use the Wemos D1 R2 board. If this doesn't work, you should use the downloaded zip before. Extract the zip and copy the content into the Arduino directory, into hardware, ASP8266CAM and the new folder called ASP8266. Now, you should restart the Arduino IDE and try if it works. Ok, so now we have the required tools to program the WiMOS. To test if it works, just open the ASP8266 Blink example. Select your WiMOS port and upload. Success! The programmer works! By the way, you have a lot of examples here that you should try out. Ok, now let's see how to get the YouTube data. We have to go to GitHub once again or use the download link below. We should say thank you to witness me now for this code. Just download the zip file as before. Now open Arduino IDE. Go to sketch, include library, add zip library and select the downloaded zip file. And we are done. Now we should have the examples for the YouTube subscriber counter. This example is compatible with the ASP8266. It will connect to Wi-Fi and get the subscriber count. Now go to examples, YouTube API, ASP8266 and select the channel statistics. Here you should add your exact and full Wi-Fi name. Then the exact password. Then here you should add your YouTube channel ID. For that, go to YouTube. Select Creator Editor and here select the channel icon in the corner and go to YouTube Settings. Here once again click Advance. And now you should just copy the channel ID and paste it here in the code. Now for the API key, if you don't have one, you should create it now. Go to Google and type get YouTube API key or use the link below for that. Here you should select the API console and sign in with your YouTube account data. On the library, select all the YouTube API and enable them. Accept all the terms. Now go to Credentials and create a new credential. Once created, copy the API key and paste it in your code. Now compile and upload the code. Open the serial monitor. Ok, so first it will connect to the Wi-Fi. Now you will probably have to wait for a few minutes till the first YouTube subscriber data will show. So don't worry if it takes too long. There you go, this is my subscriber's value. The code works. So now all we have to do is to merge these three examples into just one. Use the ASP chip, get the subscriber's value and print it on the 7 segment display. For that I've created this code that you should download from a link below. As before I add my YouTube and Wi-Fi data. Next I define the pins for the clock, chip select and data of the 7 segment module. In this case are digital outputs of the WiMAS 2, 0 and 4. Ok, down in the code I get the subscriber's value and save it into a string format. Since the display module has just one chip, I can directly send the entire A character's number by shifting data from one chip to another. 
I have to take each character of the string value and print it one by one. That's exactly what I've done in this function. That's it. I upload the code and test if it works. Success! This is my subscriber value. By the way, thank all you guys for subscribing and like my videos. Ok, so I've printed the case with my Annette E10 printer, using PLA material, 0.4mm nozzle, 2 perimeters and 20% infill. I take the 3D printed case, solder everything following the schematic and glue the parts inside. I first glue the 7 segment display. Then the buzzer and screw the toggle switch in place. This switch will activate or disactivate the beep for each new subscriber value. So if you think that the beep is annoying, just toggle the switch. I fit the Wii mouse board in place and glue close the case. Now I add the extra details to make this case look better. I connect the USB cable and we are done. After the initial message, I get the subscriber count. This will automatically refresh for each new value. That's it guys! You have all the data in the description below. You also have the purchase link for all the parts of this project or a new 3D printer. In my case, I've used the Annette E10 to print the case and it did a great job. I mean, look at these layers, are perfect! If you consider helping my projects, check my new Patreon page and help my workshop grow and have a lot of more other cool tutorials. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share the video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. Thanks again and see you later guys!